In this video I'll show you how to fix if the screen of your Sharp TV is flickering. I'll show you a few solutions. So let's start with the easiest one first. So you're gonna unplug your TV and you're gonna wait five minutes before plugging it back. In the meanwhile, find the power button. Sometimes it's located in the back of the TV, sometimes it's under the TV. And then keep press this power button during 30 seconds while the TV is unplugged. Then when it's time to plug the TV back, don't plug it in a power strip. Plug it directly into the wall socket. If this didn't work, I have a second solution for you, which is to reset the picture settings or at least change the picture settings. To do this, you need to go and press the settings button on your remote control so the menu appears and then select from the menu picture. Then in this menu, you should change the picture mode to anything other than energy saving because this mode sometimes uses less energy which makes the TV struggle with the backlight. And since you're in this menu, you can also lower the brightness or the backlight. This way we can check and see if this was the actual problem. If this didn't work, I suggest that you go in the back of your Sharp TV and disconnect the HDMI cable. I also suggest you replace this cable with a new one or if you have another one laying around in your house so we can make sure that it's not the cable causing this flickering. Then when you got the new cable, plug it in another HDMI port. So in my case it was in the number one and I plug it on number three. I also suggest that you press with your finger on the HDMI port before plugging the cable. Press very firmly, apply more pressure than usual this way sometimes uh, there's connection in the back of the HDMI port getting disconnected. By pressing you can reconnect it. And then when you plug it uh, back, press again a bit more than you would usually. Finally, if nothing works, you can factory reset your Sharp TV. All your apps, all your personal information will be deleted while doing this. To do so, you need to press the menu button on the remote control and then select Initial Setup. Once you're in that menu, select Reset. And then you're going to confirm by pressing Yes, or sometimes it just says OK. If they ask for a password, you're going to put 1234 or sometimes it's 0000. Thanks for watching and if you have other solutions, please leave them in the comments down below. If one of these solutions helped you fix the problem, I would like to know. So again, please type a comment down below and leave a like. See you in the next one.